Hey everyone and welcome back to my Life Crafted album, my Traveler's Notebook project for 2022. And in this layout, I am working with the Studio Calico Traveler's Notebook kit for January. This one was called Next Chapter. And so some really cool elements in this kit I wanted to play with these fun little watercolor kind of polka dots and the stamp set. I really liked this coral color in the album. And so I just went back into some of the photos I had taken in December. This one was taken on Christmas Day of myself. And so I just wanted to do an affirmation page to carry with me throughout the month of January and I hope that you'll be inspired as well. One, to uh, play with your Studio Calico kits and also to do a page about yourself. And so I pulled also pulled in a couple of products that I've just had in my stash. One is these sort of uh, transparency Polaroid frames and so I'm going to cut the photo to fit inside it. And I want to layer this on the polka dot page. So I'm going to back it with all white. In hindsight, I could have printed the photo with a white border. But hindsight is always 2020. And so I just printed the photo really quickly and cut it out and it works fine put it on a back, on a white backer, and that way it will stand out against those polka dots because it is a little, um, it's transparent, and but it pulls in some of that color and sort of establishes this as a dominant color in the layout. Uh, I don't remember which kit those frames came in. You also probably can see the January 1 transparency card uh, on the to the left of your screen and I've had those in my stash for a couple of years so I'm going to start putting them in this album they punch nicely and fit in as a fun little flip element for the album so once I have the photo taken care of then I uh, just sort of wanted to play with the opposite side here, the right-hand side of the layout. And so there's a lot of color already established on the left-hand side. And the right-hand side, I decided to keep the background um, more of a white background. Um, you'll see I'm going to cover it entirely with stamps and other embellishments. And that's all in good fun. But at least it started with sort of a, a neutral base and somewhere that your eye could rest. But here's what I'm going to do. I had already decided there were some little uh, one, two, three number die cuts in this kit that I really liked. And I wanted to just add those in a vertical orientation over top of this page. And so... Before I do that, I'm going to just stamp the background here. One, just kind of having fun with this stamp set. I'm sorry for my big old giant head there getting in the way. Um, one, to use the stamp set and just have fun with it. But also, what I like to do with my stamps is to use them as a home base for other embellishments. And so... It's a great way to add a bit of dimension and another sort of element to the pages here and to this white background. And it will sort of soften that and tie it in with the other side of the layout. And you can see here sort of <clears throat> what I'm sort of visualizing to begin with so that I know where to stamp these stamps. Um, just using a little bit of Versa Magic here. These are great for background stamping because they're lighter and they also um, have that sort of 
it's not a watercolor feel because it's a stamped image, but it sort of has that little varied, uh, variegated, is that the word I'm looking for? Feel where it's not all dark, <laughs> I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say. What am I trying to say here? And so using the little, um, the little embellishment layout that I did in the middle there, as kind of a guide, I'm filling in with the stamps on the actual background. And this is fun. This is fun just to play here. One of my, one of my, I guess, New Year's resolutions. I don't really make New Year's resolutions. But I want to play with my stamp sets more this year. And, um... Instead of seeing this, seeing them as this kind of serious thing, I want to just have creative play. And um, hopefully you'll see that in the next couple of weeks and months to come. Just this idea of creative play and having fun with your stamp sets, with your inks and ink cubes, and having fun with your product. And... Um, that's definitely what I'm doing here. I'm going to um, just start adhering my embellishments on top of the stamps. And I'm not really worried about what's showing, what's not showing. Um, it's just a kind of a collage feel. And I think that's really what I was going for. I have to tell you guys, Studio Calico does this to me every time with the butterflies I love when they put transparent butterflies in their kits. Um, those are always my favorite. But they do add to the collage kind of feel. And that's really um, what my focus here was all about. I, In the end, I didn't really do any journaling on this page. It's just creative expression and just having fun. And I want to just plug that here for a minute in this idea of seeing your layouts as an opportunity for creative play and it doesn't have to be serious and there aren't any rules. I will also tell you that there are um, plastic overlay on these butterflies. Some of them I managed to have the wherewithal to take them off and some of them are left on for the rest of time and it's fine but just to let you know if you're if you're looking to use these butterflies in your layouts they do have a, a plastic cover <laughs> a plastic overlay on them um, but I loved how that came out I also noticed how I used one of the little fabric patches as well and so that was fun at the top um, just as a sort of little tab there and then also I cut one of the butterflies in half I know I know and stapled that uh one on each side of the photo just as a little extra embellishment I don't know if it works or not but I'll tell you <clears throat> what made it work in the end is that I added more embellishments to those butterfly wings and you'll see that here in a moment I of course, had to incorporate some of the fun um, puppy stickers. And there you can see where I added two little hearts on the left-hand side. And that helps to create kind of a visual triangle. But it's really actually more of a zigzag kind of pattern on the left-hand side. And I, I've talked before about how a line helps you to organize your page and so you think about uh, your focal point or your embellishment clusters leading your eye around the page and what I'm doing on the left hand side is um, it's a loose vertical orientation just like on the right hand side but there are also these little these little stopping points that lead you across the page in sort of a zigzag format and that's just a little design speak for you to help you understand why I put the why I put the elements of this page where I put them. And then um, there was a little bit of space here underneath my photo, so I'm going to use this older 
label. I'm pretty sure it was Studio Calico. And it's just been sitting on my desk. <laughs> and I'm going to use that as the home base here for my title. And so the title is just going to be You Shine. And what this, what this means to me at, at this point in time for the month of January of 2022 in another year of pandemic, in another year of sort of feeling disenchanted with a lot of things, um, the fact that we all still are amazing people and I'm shining brightly you are shining brightly and that's really what I want to leave you with today. It's just that reminder that you shine and I hope that that buoys you today. I hope that encourages you. Uh, so dealing with this little January card, I don't know why I never used those to begin with when they came out. I have no idea. I love transparent elements but this is a great opportunity. So you're going to see more of those. If you have them in your stash, here is a challenge for you to pull them out. Or if you have some other random monthly product in your stash, to pull them out and figure out a way to incorporate it with your new products. So I just punched that real quick. Um, actually, I realized that I needed my crocodile to punch it and just using one of the page protectors from the life crafted album to tell me where to punch and then sliding the other things into the pocket there and a completed layout uh thank you so much for watching today i hope you've had a good time and feel inspired to create something today as well i'll see you back here again soon bye bye